Hi, my name is Travis Bennett. I'm the horn teacher at Western Carolina University, and I wanted to give you a couple of pointers about this horn part for pan, night, and day. The first thing I want you to think about is keeping the notes pretty short. Uh, anytime you're doing a large ensemble piece like this, you want to keep things really crisp and short so they don't get muddy. And so try to be very precise with the articulations and then put some space between all the notes. Uh, when you get to measure 21, watch out for the quarter note triplet. Uh, I want to keep these straight ahead and not let them get too lazy and lay back in the beat. So if you're feeling this kind of in cut time, which I think is a good idea, feel this piece sort of in cut time, it's a lot easier to play that triplet right in time on the second half of the measure. And the next rhythm to watch out for, I think, is measure 57. Be careful in measure 57 that the quarter note is right on beat four. Ba 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 ba. That last note needs to be right on beat four and don't over syncopate it. Uh, I know the first time I read through this, I was tempted to, to keep the syncopation going, but we don't want to do that. That last note is right on beat four. And finally, the very end of the piece, make sure the rhythm in the next to last measure is correct uh, where the long and short notes are. So you have da da dee da 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 right at the end. So I hope you have a great time with this piece and uh, good luck on your performance.